Thank you for tuning in to Beast Watch News News Brief at the most current and comprehensive Bible prophecy website on the internet, beastwatchnews.com. All Bible prophecy news, all the time. Stay tuned for news. Today's scripture reading is Exodus 16:23, and he said to them, This is that which the Lord has said, Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today, and sieve that which you will sieve, and that which remains over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. In Israel, John Kerry and Benjamin Netanyahu met in Jerusalem on Thursday. The meeting lasted for over four hours. On Friday, Kerry met with Abbas. Netanyahu told John Kerry that the peace process will not change Israel's standing in the world. The world will still view Israel as a negative entity, he said. Ayan Hirsi Ali, author of Infidel, said that it doesn't matter if you give up all the land. It won't solve the problems in the Mideast. The Israeli court did order the halt to some construction in the West Bank settlement, though. Israel's Supreme Court ordered the state to halt construction of 40 homes in the West Bank settlement of Nokdim. The court issued the injunction Thursday in reviewing a petition filed by Palestinian residents near that settlement. Dozens of Jews went to Temple Mount in Jerusalem on Thursday as a sign of solidarity with Deputy Knesset Speaker Moshe Feiglin, who has been refused access to Temple Mount. In Syria, earlier in the week, it was reported that Russia has removed its military and civilian personnel from its base in Tartus, Syria. It turns out that the Russians substituted civilian personnel for the military on its civilian base there. The ministry did not say when the switch at the base at Tartus took place or how many personnel were deployed there. The minor facility is Russia's only naval outpost outside the former Soviet Union. It consists of several barracks and depots used to service Russian Navy ships in the Mediterranean. But Russia claims the Syrian naval facility is operating normally. Western and Arab allies are trying to court Syrian rebel aid. In a Friends of Syria meeting, 11 countries agreed to bolster support for the Syrian rebels on the ground. Reports allege that the U.S. is stockpiling arms for the Syri Syrian rebels in Jordan and that the CIA has begun its operations to arm Syrian rebels. Representative Yoho in the United States has introduced legislation prohibiting military assistance in Syria. It is being reported also that Christians are being beheaded in Syria and that the Christian quarter of the old city in Damascus has been hit by attacks. Under economic news, North Carolina has become the first state to drop federal jobless funds. With changes to its unemployment law taking effect this weekend, North Carolina not only is cutting benefits for those who file new claims, it will become the first state disqualified from a federal compensation program for the long-term jobless. Under White House news, this heading, IRS could revoke non-profit status for religious institutions over same-sex marriage. Based on Wednesday's Supreme Court ruling in which the court majority determined that the Defense of Marriage Act's federal definition of marriage had to incorporate state-based same-sex marriages, the IRS regulations could be modified to remove non-profit status for churches across the country. The consequence of Wednesday's SCOTUS ruling will be so far-reaching as to possibly cause the imprisonment and possibly even death of those who oppose the abominable gay marriage. The Senate on Thursday passed its horrible immigration overhaul, which has within it a hidden tariff on Americans that will cause millions of Americans to lose their jobs. This immigration bill and Obamacare mandates go hand-in-hand hand to cause this the Obamacare mandates slated to go into effect next year will force employers to provide health care coverage or pay a fine to the government of $3,000 per employee if they fail to do so. This, of course, is a job killer in and of itself, but it doesn't stop there. But because newly legalized immigrants will not be eligible for subsidies on the Obamacare exchanges until after they become full citizens, which is at least 13 years under this new Senate bill, businesses could avoid those fines, those that $3,000 fine, by hiring new immigrants instead. So what the new legislation essentially does is place a tariff on hiring American citizens. 
Estimates suggest that well over 30 million Americans, perhaps more, will benefit from the law. Who wouldn't benefit? Well, that would be the 23% of Americans who have lost their jobs over the last five years. This is Beastwatch News Daily Update. See these and other stories at BeastwatchNews.com. Bible Prophecy News every day except Shabbat.